Hello, my name is Sean. Welcome to the channel. And today, <laughs> I want to try something a little different. And I want to talk about what's next for AMG. And this is not going to be one of my typical speculation videos where I start just taking shots in the dark about what AMG might be up to because I actually don't know. I'm actually wondering this myself and kind of putting it out there because maybe somebody that actually works for Mercedes might know something and might email me and give me some information. So I'm really out there fishing just to see what's actually out because as you know, Mercedes AMG has three brand only cars and that's the AMG one, the SL and the AMG GT. Now the AMG GT is the oldest car that they make. First came out in 2014 and it's kind of old. The interior is kind of dated. The tech is kind of dated and it kind of needs to be replaced. The Roadster is being replaced with the SL. That's going to be the new Roadster. And that car, of course, is really up to date and pretty um, damn good in that department. Design wise, I think it's OK, but that's another story. And of course, AMG One, formerly the Project One, is a flagship Halo hypercar for amg which makes me wonder what are they going to do with the amg gt we know that the send-off for that car is the amg gt black series and i've said it would be really cool if they brought the sls back to replace the black series in some kind of fashion but you know i don't think the sls has been gone long enough for its revival to be seen as a big deal now but sl 300 now that's something totally uh, different in in the realm of possibility especially since sl is replacing the gt roaster it only makes sense for it to also replace the coupe a negative to that is the sl doesn't look like a supercar and let's not forget at the end of 2020 mercedes also put an end to the slc so there's really no telling when that car or if that car is going to be replaced and i think it would be a smart move for mercedes to move all their sports cars under the amg banner and too many models in my opinion would probably ill-advised for the brand because you don't know how that's going to affect it later down the line and lastly i don't think they will try to build a amg only suv because the amg versions of mercedes suvs are already pretty damn good now they could probably try to develop a car that would rival you know lamborghinis or uh, bentley's or any other manufacturers speeds performances but i don't think they necessarily need to do that because their top flight amg suvs are already hitting 174 and uh, you really don't need to go any much faster than that and i know i said lastly but it did just dawn on me that eventually they're going to have to make a electric supercar so that is something that's going to eventually have to happen. And, you know, with that usually comes an electric hypercar. So we really need to be seeing what Mercedes is planning in that space. And AMG has already built a pretty good all electric car in the SLS but that car had its limitations. It came pretty early on in the electric hyper or supercar space and it didn't have the range you expect from a modern hypercar well things have changed battery technology has changed uh the whole electric car space has changed so mercedes now can make a hyper or super electric car that would probably rival the likes of you know Remac and the Navarro or any other super electric car out there but like I said in the beginning of this video I don't want to do too much speculating I'm actually looking for somebody with inside information that can let me know what's going on within Mercedes and what they have planned for the future and if you are that person hit up my email and if you're a, a enthusiast like me let me know what you think mercedes next move should be in the comments or do you like the direction that they're currently headed with all that said i'd like to bring this video to a close so if you like the video like the video if you dislike the video dislike the video if you want to see what i got planned next come see what i got planned next got a lot of stuff for this channel really want you guys to be there with me with that said i'll catch you later